603, now a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. A Providence Boys and Girls Club is locked up this morning. We've learned its electricity was cut off because of an unpaid bill. Binpoint News Tracker showing you where it's located on Ive Street. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik has exclusive de details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, people coming here to the Boys and Girls Club were greeted with these signs here behind me saying no electricity. Administrators thought it was a power outage. Now we know it's all because of an unpaid bill. National Grid confirming exclusively for Eyewitness News, electricity has been turned off at the Fox Point Boys and Girls Club in Providence, all because of an outstanding bill. Doors there now locked and notes telling residents no electricity. The building houses a branch of the Providence Public Library. The city of Providence also a partner. But the mayor says he's learning about all of this from Eyewitness News. Have you heard anything about this yet? Uh, no, you're reporting this to me. Obviously, the Boys and Girls Club is incredibly important to the children and young people of the city, and the Fox Point one in particular is a really active club. While National Grid says they can't comment on how much that outstanding bill is because of customer privacy, a National Grid spokesperson telling us, quote, Shutting off customers is always a last resort. We do our best to communicate and work with them to come up with an arrangement that is suitable. We'll continue to work with this customer. I don't know exactly how, whether or not the bill was paid, but the fact is, is that we have children and seniors that are counting on this facility being open, and people need to work that out. The Fox Point Boys and Girls Club has been in financial troubles before. In 2002, the situation so bad closing down was an option, but members rallied to keep it open. The Providence mayor says now he'll try to get down to the bottom of what's going on. It's important that everything possibly done by the club to reopen, and obviously I'll reach out to them and see if there are ways that we can be helpful. Now, some signs here at the club say it will be back open on Thursday, but at this point we are unsure of that. Reporting with an exclusive from the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Slotnick, Eyewitness News.